Uh, Victor, it's lovely to see you again. A little bit of a break anyway. How's uh, the game been and how are you feeling? Yeah, it's been nice. Um, I've been able to go out to the States a bit and play some events there. Um, you know, it was a bit strategic to not play um, after Rack to protect a little bit my world ranking to get into the top 64 for the world match play, which didn't turn out to be, you know, the greatest of weeks because I didn't get out of the group stage, but um, there was a bit of calculation for that. And then, uh, yeah, played two more, two event, one before, one after that. So it's, uh, it's obviously nice to be, to be back uh, here in the DP world and, and play for this great event. You're still right up there in that ranking. Just Rory and, and John uh, are beating you at the moment. What's it feel like coming here to the Italian Open, the highest ranked player in the field, and obviously a place that you love so much given what you did here last year? Yeah, obviously I've had like good results um, here in the past, so it's obviously you know a nice place. I enjoy Rome. I enjoy you know the golf course, even though it's playing a little bit different than it has in the years prior, but I'm really looking forward to the week. If I could offer you third right now, would you take it? Um, no, fortunately. I think if you you know you always try to play to win, and then if I mean obviously third would be a great result, but you know you don't want to start with that mindset. I would say it's going to be a very tough place to play this week without thinking about September, isn't it for you? Yeah, obviously, but you know like I said, I think I've been in that similar position uh, last time around for Whistling Straight, so I can use some of that experience and kind of know what it feels like to go into those events. You know, thinking you know I know you know Thursday afternoon if you play great and you know you come in for your post round interview, somebody's going to ask you like. Obviously, a dream star. What would it mean to you to do this? And like you just, um, but I've experienced it before, so I kind of know how to handle it and know how to put it aside, maybe, and and focus on the golf because ultimately this is what's going to make the difference. Lastly, tell us about the course. It looks like it's evolved a little bit. Certainly, the rough is higher. Is it changed much in your eyes? Um, yeah, I've only played the back nine uh, this morning. They've you know, added a couple bunkers or split uh, uh, two bunkers on 14. They've added the bunker on 12. So. A uh, few changes, obviously a bit more rough, so I think they're trying to make it play a little bit trickier. Um, it's obviously rained a lot in the last few days, so it's playing soft, so I think um, the scoring should be spread quite a bit because I think the good players are going to play great and with soft conditions you can still make a lot of birdies and I think the guys that are going to struggle and start hitting the rough are going to uh, get penalized a little bit more than it's been in the past. So I think the, the scoring should be a bit more spread than it's been, but you, I mean, you, you can never really know. Cheers, thank you. Victor, great to see you again. Uh, tell us how your form is at the moment and how you feel coming here to uh, Marco Simone. Uh, bien, j'ai passé la semaine dernière en Espagne où j'ai pu passer une bonne semaine d'entraînement après être revenu de, du Zurich à New Orleans où j'ai joué avec Thomas Détry. Euh, donc oui, j'ai eu une bonne semaine d'entraînement la semaine dernière. C'est forcément un, un parcours que j'apprécie ici. Euh, on espère, on, il, même s'il a beaucoup plu ces derniers jours, il est censé faire beau euh, de jeudi à dimanche. Donc, euh, Ils ont rajouté un peu de rough, changé quelques bunkers sur le parcours, mais dans l'ensemble, on pense que le, le scoring devait être quand même assez positif. Uh, donc, uh, on verra comment ça se passe cette semaine. You've obviously got a great history here. You had a fantastic week here last year. What are the emotions when you see all these grandstands? And, and, and not just that, but tell us how you feel about the course as it's evolved over the years. Oui, ben, je pense que voilà, avec la Ryder Cup en septembre, euh, le parcours est, est un petit peu plus dur. Ils ont changé quelques bunkers, euh, raccourci, rétréci quelques fairways. Euh, donc c'est un petit peu différent, même si le, le layout entre guillemets est le même. Euh, mais oui, ben, de voir tous les grand stands, forcément, ça, ça donne des, des idées de ce qui sera euh, en septembre pour la Ryder Cup, avec voilà la grosse tribune one qui rappelle beaucoup celle celle qui avait au Golf National en 2018 et, et tous les stands qui a plus plus sur le parcours, euh, forcément ça, ça donne des idées et ça donne envie de bien jouer. Merci. Merci.